So we're gonna do a little talk about why um, equine dentistry is different than say dentistry in small animal or people because there's a lot of misconceptions with equine dentistry. Horses have a unique tooth system called a hypsodont dentition system, H-Y-P-S-O-D-O-N-T, hypsodont. It's very unique. And a lot of people think that horses' teeth keep growing forever, but they actually don't grow forever. Rodents, uh, you know, like beavers, for example, some of their teeth grow forever, so they have to keep wearing them down all the time. But horses have a unique dentition that is similar to a mechanical pencil. So they have a tooth right here that you can see on this young horse is about two inches. Um, but this is all the tooth that this horse is ever going to have throughout its life. It's not going to make any more than this for the most part. So what happens is every year they graze and as they chew, they wear away a couple millimeters of, of their teeth. So unlike us where our teeth say uh, are pretty fixed and they don't change a lot, there is somewhere, but it's pretty minimal. In horses, they wear anywhere between two to four millimeters a year or so on average. And that depends on the rage and the environment they're in. But say two to four millimeters is generally speaking um, so this is a cross section. It's not a very good drawing, but it's the best that I can do. We can see the roots right here. And you have to imagine every year this tooth is going to wear away a couple millimeters and then it's going to erupt a couple millimeters. So it'll come up and then it's going to wear a few millimeters and then it's going to come up and then it's going to wear a few millimeters. But when it's gone, it's gone and there's no more coming in behind it and it, it can't be uh, replaced. And so one of the things that we try to do with advanced occlusal equilibration is we're trying to get these teeth to where they're wearing all at the same time, okay? And I'll, uh, I'll try and put a, a link to, or I'll put a picture to in the, in the video showing the difference between a horse that um, has a nice balanced mouth where the teeth are wearing evenly and where they're not what happens is literally, if not daily, several times a week, I'll work on horses where they'll have really long bottom teeth, but they've completely worn out the upper teeth. So let's say that this, this situation occurs where these teeth here get really, really long and they come all the way up into here. This is what we call a wave. And then these teeth are worn down, right? Okay. So here there's going to be very little tooth left and here we have a lot. So it, every year this problem is going to get a little bit worse. So at five years old, that horse might be pretty balanced. At eight years old, it'll be a little bit unbalanced. By 15, it'll be even more unbalanced. By the time it's in its 20s, there may be nothing left up here and a very long tooth down here. Imagine if we could take half of this tooth and put it up here, right? That would double the lifespan of this. And that's essentially what we're doing with occlusal equilibration is we're just making it so that these teeth are wearing evenly at the same rate. And what it does is it makes them last much, much longer. And then as horses age, they age more comfortably. There's a lot of other benefits to, to other things such as some performance and comfort and all that that we'll touch on in other, other videos. But the big thing is what we're trying to do with occlusal equilibration is we're trying to add years to the longevity of the teeth by helping them wear uh, more equally. So hopefully that explains a few things uh, for you guys and uh, you understand a little bit more about the difference between occlusal equilibration versus just floating.